Hey guys, welcome back to the kitchen. A huge thank you for all the support on our 1 million subscriber video. I can't believe we're finally here, but we are, and we're back in the kitchen with some great recipes. If you have any ideas of recipes you'd like to see on the channel, of course, leave them in the comments below. But today I have an absolutely gorgeous one for you. This is pork satay peanut butter noodles, and they are one of my go-to dishes. They are so simple to do. They rely heavily on Asian store cupboard ingredients like soy sauce, fish sauce, some peanut butter to give it that unctuousness. We're gonna get it all in a nice hot wok with some chili, ginger, and garlic. We're gonna add our pork mince in there, in with our noodles, and then that great satay noodle dressing. This is a great midweek dinner that is so simple to prepare, and if you have a nice hot wok, you are good to go. So we're gonna start off by chopping our chili, ginger, and garlic. And for me, these are flavors that just instantly electrify your dish with good, good things going on. So I have three cloves of garlic. I'm just gonna take the skins off by chopping the ends of them and then smashing them with the knife. This is the easiest way to get that papery skin off, and I've tried many different ways, put them in a bowl, shaking them, you know, all the different things that they say on the internet. It's, it's all nonsense. That's the quickest way, I can promise you, after having done many, many garlic cloves in my life. I love the fact that a little smash at the back of the knife, and then you just peel it really easily off. Of course, this is the moment where it actually sticks, and I say, it <laughs> came off easily, and it didn't at all! But it's, yeah, they're, they're fiddly, farty little things, and do you know what? In the end, you get them off and it's grand. Now, three garlic cloves, I'm just gonna finely slice them. Next up, ginger. I love the heat you add from this. So a good knob, and everyone says a thumb-sized piece, but I always think it's probably about like two thumb-sized pieces of ginger. Um, always go the extra mile with these sorts of flavors because they're the building blocks of a dish like this. So with the skin on this one, you just want a nice thin slice around the edges. You could go here with a teaspoon. Everyone recommends you do it with a teaspoon, but to be honest, I think if you have a nice sharp knife, it saves you having to go to the drawer and pulling it out. And if you're good enough, you'll get most of the skin off without taking too much of the flesh. So nice thin slice of the peel off on the sides, and then literally the same as the garlic, nice thin little slivers. This sort of dish was like my favorite growing up. I know as an Irish man, <laughs> I didn't have many uh, Asian influences, but I absolutely loved these flavors when I first started cooking because they were so different to the sort of things that I would have been used to when I was growing up. It was all Irish stews, shepherd's pies and fish basically. <laughs> so getting to try and experiment with sort of Asian flavors got me really excited about cooking. And then lastly, for a bit of heat, we've got some chili. A nice fine slice. Don't bother taking the seeds out here. I want you to build your tolerance for heat. Life gets a bit more exciting when it's spicy. Now, that is our chili, ginger, and garlic. And then I'm also gonna add in some spring onions as well. So just a rough chop on them. So just slice your way through them. I'm cutting them quite thick because I like to see them throughout this satay noodle mixture. And then this is the core of what's gonna go into the pan and be our building blocks for these noodles. So into the pan, which is coming up to temperature, with a little bit of neutral oil. Give that oil a swirl in the pan, and then it's time to go in with our building blocks of these great noodles. Chili, ginger, and garlic straight into that oil. Give that a good stir and it's starting to look good. So next in is our pork mince. And the beauty of this recipe is that it is completely adaptable with whatever mince alternative you want. So chicken mince, you could go turkey mince, you could go uh, beef mince, even a vegetarian option as well. There's lots of options out there and this recipe works really well with whatever you want to adapt with. So in amongst our building blocks of great noodle action, we're going in there with our pork mince. Give it a good stir. And as soon as it's in there, we're gonna mix it up around just to introduce it to the heat, introduce it to those base flavors. And then once it is and it's kind of been broken up, the important thing to do is let it sit, allow it to catch and allow it to brown ever so slightly. So while that's happening, into a little bowl, we're gonna make our satay pork noodle mixture. So for that, I've got some great Asian pantry ingredients. Sesame oil, really great nutty flavor here. So there's about three to four tablespoons going in. We've got soy sauce about two tablespoons going in. And to round out that saltiness, some fish sauce. 
Same goes in here, two tablespoons. Lovely. And while I'm making this, I just want to come back to my pork, check on it. It's starting to brown off and you will sometimes see with mints like this that some liquid comes off. It is important that you cook that out so that you don't end up with a soggy meat mixture. So back to our sauce. We have our fish sauce, soy sauce, sesame oil. Now we need to add in a little bit of sweetness and that comes in the form of some brown sugar. To get our peanutty action, I'm going in there with plenty of peanut butter. A couple of tablespoons here. And then lastly, to give it a bit of a kick, and a little zing, some citrus. So a little bit of lime juice here. Two limes going in here. Juice of two limes go in. And as I'm squeezing, I can hear we got some sizzle action going on. So I'm actually gonna stop what I'm doing. Give that a good stir. And you wanna have a look at this because this is where you wanna be. That browning action has begun. You're hearing sizzle. And now we're cooking. So this is actually ready for our veggie mixture. So I have some sugar snap peas, which I'm gonna add in. Alongside some little Asian greens. You could use bok choy here if you want, but nice little small ones will be perfect. We're gonna give that a little stir through and just add in a tiny bit of water and let that steam. Just have a look at that. The smells are great. The colors are wonderful. And that little bit of water is gonna help those greens become nice and tender. So this is looking pretty good. Back to our sauce. I'm nearly done with the sauce. <laughs> I keep getting interrupted. Uh, right, lime juice back in our bowl. So we've got two limes here. And I love these sorts of assembly job suppers that are basically three components. So you have your noodles cooked off, you have your veggies, your mince, your, all that happens in the pan. And then it comes together with this beautiful sauce that is unctuous and gorgeous and just gonna wrap its way around the pork, around the noodles and bring it all to life. So, last little bit of lime juice in and we are good to go. Okay, we are in business. We've got our sauce, we've got our veggies, we've got our pork, we've got the noodles which are cooked. I'm using rice noodles. These take minutes to cook in some boiling water just until they're nice and tender. And basically all that's left to do now is assemble in the pan. I'm just gonna check that my veggies are pretty much cooked through. They're, they're almost there. They could do with a minute or two some more, but I think with the sauce and the noodles in there, we're gonna get good things going on. So first, give that sauce a little mix up. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you just want it nicely combined so that when it goes in here, you get a nice, even incorporation of it. And then this gets poured straight in on top of our lovely mixture. And as soon as that goes in there, just have a look at that. It becomes dark and unctuous and creamy and basically all the things I want on my noodles right now. This looks so good. Okay, so leave that to bubble just for a second. Let it come up to temperature. You kind of run it, reduce it down ever so slightly. And then we're gonna get our noodles in there. And you just wanna tease them into the wok. So the best thing to do that with is a tongs. Now at any point when you're adding the noodles and it feels a little dry or it's not looking exactly as it should, feel free to add in some water just until you get them nicely coated. And this is why it's not a bad idea to slightly undercook the rice noodles because they will cook in the liquid that's in the pan. So you don't want to get to a point where you have flabby noodles that are really well cooked into a pan like this because they will heat up again and you'll end up with kind of stodgy overcooked noodles. So Take your time with this, undercook your noodles, and when you add them to the wok, they will continue to cook, so you'll be in business. Give that a good stir through, and it actually does need a little touch of water, so I'm gonna add that in. And now time for a few stirs, and then it's time to serve. Okay, this is looking really good right now. I'm just gonna reduce the heat right down. And the last thing to add in, which is a nice thing to add in at this point, is some coriander. So I'm gonna take up a, a better bunch here and just tear in that coriander and fold it through. It means that you're gonna get lovely bites of freshness as you work your way through these noodles. And it's really best to add this right at the very last minute so it stays fresh and vibrant. Last little stir and let's serve. Now just 
have a look at this. Beautiful steaming noodles that just deserve to be served straight to the plate. There's that creaminess you get from adding peanut butter in here. Loads of veggie action. This is my kind of dream supper. And to be honest, it's kind of like the late night meal I dream of when I'm hungry in bed. <laughs> it's the kind of thing I want to dive into. So a bit of that bok choy in there. A little bit of that meat on top. Final touches, a little more coriander. And then a tiny bit of peanuts on top. A really simple little supper that if you have the veggies and you have the ingredients, literally takes no time at all. Last thing to do now, dive in and enjoy. Yeah. There is just so many great things happening here. The heat, the spice, the ginger is in there, and then you've got this really soft, unctuous noodle action with the gnarly bits of pork. It is my kind of food. This is a really simple supper and it only takes minutes to make. If you want to check it out, as always, the recipe's in the link below over on my website. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. Leave me a comment letting me know if you're going to try this delicious dish. And of course, I will see you soon. Goodbye.